Hey everyone! Today we're talking about Resident Evil 7, a game that we'll probably never see on PSVR 2. There was some false hope last year when the PS5 version came out and the box said it supported VR. But huh? yeah, that was just referring to the PSVR 1 version, unfortunately. So today I'm gonna show you the best way to play Resident Evil 7 in VR on PC and make it feel as close to a native PSVR 2 port as possible. Don't worry, it's actually quite simple. Even I could do it and that says a lot. Alright, let's get into it. Step 1. Get the game. First off, obviously you need to own Resident Evil 7 on your PC. Once you've got it, open the local files of the game. If you're on Steam, it's super easy to find them. Just right click the game, click manage, and lastly click browse local files, which will open the game's folder. Step 2. Install the VR mod. So you're gonna drop in two mods in total in this folder. The first one is Resident Evil 7 VR mod by Predog. This is what makes all the VR magic happen. By the way, all the links are in the description, so there's no need to go searching for them. So, now go to the newest release on Predog's GitHub, scroll down, find the file called re7.zip, download it and just drop the zip file straight into the game folder and extract it. At this point, you could already launch the game in VR and it would work, but we can make it look and feel so much better. Step 3. Install 4K Texture Pack. Next, go to the Nexus Mods website and download the 4K texture pack. You'll need to grab all three files for it. Now heads up, the downloads can be really slow, like it's gonna take a few hours to download, and you'll need to make an account, which is annoying, but it's worth it. Once you finally get them, drop the zip files into your game folder and extract each one separately. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with and without the mod, and as you can see, the difference is drastic. The game looks so much sharper and cleaner in VR now. Step 4. Fixing controller buttons. Ok, so we're almost at perfection, but there's one last thing we can perfect. The Xbox controller buttons on screen. They don't match the PSVR 2 controllers at all, and honestly, it's super confusing for me. To install this next mod, we're gonna need to use Fluffy Mode Manager. Just simply download it, extract the zip, and run the .exe file. When it opens, find Resident Evil 7 in list of games and it should automatically detect the game folder. If it doesn't do that like it did for me, just copy the game folder path and paste it into it. After that, go back to Nexus Mode's website and download the PSVR 2 button configuration mode. Then drag and drop the zip file into Fluffy Mode Manager. And lastly, you should see a message at the bottom left saying the mod was added successfully. And that's it! You're ready to go! Step 5. Enjoy RE7 VR. Now you can boot up Steam VR, launch RE7, and finally enjoy it in its full VR glory. Of course, it's not gonna be good as native PSVR 2 port from Capcom, but honestly, it's way better than the PSVR 1 version where you had no hands and the resolution looked rough. On PC, once you have all the mods installed, the game looks beautiful, especially when you bump up the Steam VR resolution. You will need a decent PC though. For me, I'm running it at 90Hz at 90% resolution and it looks absolutely stunning inside the headset. Wow, it's just like real life, man. What the... The motion controls feel right. The cutscenes are awesome in VR, and I love the little details like manual healing that you actually have to grab the medicine from your bag and put it onto your hand. You can also see the full body character which adds a lot of immersion for me. If it ever gets in your way you can disable it pretty easily. Just point your right hand at your left hand and the settings menu will pop up. There you need to open the RE8 VR tab, don't ask me why it's named like that, and you can toggle body parts or even hands. Now let's be real for a second. This port is definitely not perfect. For example, there's no tutorial explaining the VR controls, which can be quite confusing. Like to open the map, you just don't press a button, you have to reach your left ear and then press a button. Yeah, your ear, not your shoulder. I, I don't know, just... I, I don't know why is it like that. Switching guns is also not explained. To choose, you need to hold the L2 button and move the joysticks. And how exactly can I do the manual healing? Well, you need to grab onto your right shoulder. 
but yet again it's not explained at all. There's also no proper item grabbing like in RE8 or RE4 VR, and manual reloading isn't supported either. But honestly, I can't complain too much. These are free mods made by fans, and the fact that I can even play RE7 like this is incredible. We have other Resident Evil games that are playable in VR like RE2 Remake, but unfortunately that doesn't feel like a native VR game, and at times it's a bit janky. Don't get me wrong, I still love these games, but it's not to the point of RE7 VR. Overall, this setup that I made feels like the closest thing to a native PSVR 2 experience until Capcom decides to make an official port. Which probably won't happen. This is definitely the best way to experience Resident Evil 7 and it's perfect for spooky season 2025. Thanks so much for watching, if you found this helpful don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more PSVR content and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!